Welcome to the Food Flamingo. In today's video, we're going to be making these delicious and irresistible caramel spice cupcakes that are topped with a salted caramel frosting. This recipe is super easy, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make the spice cupcakes. For that, in a small bowl, we're going to sift in the dry ingredients which include all-purpose flour, some salt, baking powder, baking soda, some cornstarch, and the spices, which include cinnamon, ginger, clove, and nutmeg, all in powdered form. Give it a good mix and set it aside, and let's move on to the wet ingredients. In a separate bowl, we're going to combine together brown sugar, a large egg, some full fat yogurt, you can also use sour cream instead, and some vegetable oil. Lastly, I'm adding some vanilla extract and now we're going to mix everything up. For this recipe, I'm going to be using my homemade salted caramel sauce. I will leave a link to the recipe in the description box below and one batch of it is more than enough to make these cupcakes. Now I'm going to add in the dry ingredients into the wet mixture and now we're going to give everything a mix until it is fully combined. Make sure not to over mix your batter, just mix until all the flour is incorporated. The full recipe will be available in the description box as well so make sure you check that out. Now it's time to fill up the prepared cupcake tins. We're going to fill about 3 fourths of the way up. Now we're going to bake these in an oven preheated to 180 degrees celsius for 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. While the cupcakes cool, let's prepare the salted caramel frosting. In a cold bowl, we're going to beat together cold heavy whipping cream and powdered sugar until sift peaks form. You can use a hand mixer, stand mixer, or just a whisk. Now it's time to flavor this frosting. I'm going to be adding 2 tablespoons of my homemade salted caramel sauce. Again, the recipe will be in the description box below. Give this a mix and now the frosting is ready. The cupcakes are fully cooled and now we're going to make holes in them. I'm using a piping tip, you can just use a knife. One thing you have to keep in mind is that you don't cut all the way through to the bottom of the cupcake or the filling will leak out. Now we're going to go ahead and fill up all the cupcakes. You can add as much salted caramel sauce as you like. Transfer the frosting into a piping bag. I'm using a star tip, you can use any tip you like, and frost the cupcakes. As always, all of my recipes are on my website, thefoodflamingo.com. I will leave a link in the description box as well. Once all of the cupcakes are frosted, I'm just going to drizzle on some more caramel on top. You can also add sprinkles or anything you like. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because there are lots of fall recipes coming very soon and you don't want to miss a single one. And here it is, the final product. These caramel spice cupcakes are just delicious and out of this world. The cupcake itself is moist and has the perfect balance of spices in it. And the salted caramel frosting is just so light and fluffy and complements the cupcakes so well. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the Food Flamingo for more easy and delicious recipes just like this one. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And like the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.